So, we start with constant of integration. So, we will start with the constant of integration because in the integral calculus, for indefinite integration, we will have plus C in each of the answer. So, we will try to discuss where did you get that plus C. So, example here. So, we have an example. We will have ddx. The ddx of x to the fourth. The derivative for that is 4x cubed dx. Okay. Okay. We're in the integral for that. The integral for that, that is 4x cubed dx. The answer is x to the fourth. That is, you will have 4x to the fourth over 4. Okay? So, that is literally equal to x to the fourth. Okay. If we will have the derivative of ddx of x to the fourth plus 5, okay, we will have derivative for that, that is 4x cubed dx. We're in the integral of that one, that is 4x cubed dx, that is equal to still x to the fourth. But then, for your constant here, that is equal to x to the fourth plus 5. Okay. So, if we will have... So, next example we have... We will have ddx, okay? ddx of x to the fourth minus 8, okay? That is equal, still equal to 4x cubed dx. We're in the integral for that, 4x cubed dx, that is equivalent to x to the fourth minus 8. So, as you can see here, if your given is the integral of 4x cubed, you will have an answer of x to the fourth. So, you will have, we can express that one as the integral of 4x cubed dx. That could be expressed as x to the fourth plus c. Where C, okay, where C is called the constant of integration. As you can see, in our example, if we have derivative of x to the fourth, we will have an answer of 4x cubed. The integral of 4x cubed, that is x to the fourth. If we will have the derivative of x to the fourth minus 8, the answer is still 4x cubed. Wherein you, the integral, that is still x to the fourth. If we will have derivative of x to the fourth plus 4, the answer is still derivative of x to the fourth plus 4, that is still 4x cubed. The integral is still the integral of 4x cubed that is equal to x to the fourth. So therefore, 4x cubed dx, that is equivalent to x to the fourth plus c, wherein c here is called the constant of integration. And that is an arbitrary constant. So we will have examples. So... We will have the first formula. 
if you will have the integral of du, that is u plus c. The integral of u to the n du, that is equal to u n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. Okay. So we will have our example. The integral of sine cube y cosine y dy. Okay. So, where okay, n is equal to 3, u is equal to sine y, then du. That is equal to cosine y dy. Derivative of sine y, that is equal to cosine y dy. As you can see in our given, sine here, sine y, that is our u. And then cosine y dy, that is our du. That is already a complete form of u to the n du. In that case, if you will have u to the n du, you will use formula, the power formula, that is u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. So therefore, in our answer, that could be 3 plus 1, that is sine to the fourth y, okay, over 4 plus c okay that is our answer so we will have the next example so the next example integral of cosine to the fourth x sine x dx so we have where okay n is equal to 4 u is equal to cosine x because your u here is your cosine x because for your cosine you have an exponent of 4 and 4 is your n so derivative of cosine that is equal to negative sine x dx. As you can see here, your du, your du that is equivalent to negative sine x dx. So you will have the integral of cosine to the fourth x times negative sine x dx. Because you multiply negative here, so therefore multiply negative outside. So therefore, you will have, this is now a complete form. You have now your, this one is your du, this one is your u to the n. So in that case, so you will have, proceed to the formula. This is now complete. You have your u, you have your du, so you will have negative cosine to the fifth x over 5 plus c. Okay, that is now your answer. So, once you will have your du, so don't worry about that. That will complete the form for your formula. So, proceed now to your n plus 1. So, that is now the answer. If you want to check if your answer is correct, okay? So, if you want to check if your answer is correct, your answer, cosine fifth to the cosine to the fifth x, find the derivative for this one. This will be your answer. So, ddx, ddx of cosine, that is negative, cosine to the fifth 
x over 5 plus c. Derivative of cosine to the fifth. So that is an exponent. So you will have 5 cosine to the fourth x over. Okay. So over. Okay. Because you will have 5 for that one. Derivative of the constant that is 0. So therefore, derivative without exponent, derivative of cosine, negative sine x. So therefore, this negative, negative, that would become positive. So you will have cancel, cancel. So your answer will be cosine to the fourth x sine x. So as you can see, so as you can see, our answer now is our given. So you can see that the answer is the same as the given. So therefore, your answer is correct. That is how to check your work if that is correct. Okay, let's proceed to another example. The integral of sine y. Sine y dy over cosine squared y. So, for this case, you will have this is equal to alas on c. The integral of cosine negative 2y sine y dy so you will have because if you are going to bring the exponent to your numerator that would become negative so for this form our u okay where n is equal to negative 2 u is equal to cosine y du is equal to negative sine y dy so therefore you will have you will have the integral of cosine negative 2y where in our du is negative sine y dy because you multiply negative here so multiply negative outside so, as you can see, that is now a complete form. So, this is now our u. This one is our du. So, proceed now to the formula. So, you will have negative cosine negative 1. Because that is negative 2 plus 1. Y over negative 1 plus c so negative negative positive so you will have cosine negative 1y plus c which is equal to which is equal to 1 over cosine y plus c because if you are going to bring negative 1 down that would become positive 1 over cosine, that would be equal to second y plus c. So, that, that could be your, that is now your final answer. So, that is now your final answer. Okay.